Lucy represents Julie's first entry into the small car market, as well as the aspirations of this young company. What started out as a fridge manufacturer in 1986 has developed into one of China's biggest vehicle makers. And let's not forget, it now owns Volvo. Now, to kick off our insert today on Ignition GT, we're going to play a quick game of Spot the Difference. Uh, because apparently our feature car this week, the GDLC, has been fashioned after the giant panda, a national treasure of China. Now it might sound a little bit bizarre, but actually you can see it. Look at the lights. They've got these massive big eyes, which pandas do have. Um, big smiley front grill. Down at the back, the rear tail lights are supposed to look like a panda paw print and then you've also got the uh, remote control which is supposed to be like a panda's happy face. The obvious links with Toyota's iGo aside, the LC is bound to win admirers for its instant visual appeal, already proving popular with young upwardly mobile types in its home country. The LC has got a 1.3 litre four-cylinder engine putting out 63 kilowatts of power and 110 newton meters, which on paper doesn't sound bad. Translated on the road, it's not too bad, it's not a bad drive, but uh, your power only comes in at 6,000 RPM and you do feel that going up the hill. Um, you do have to help it along a little bit going up a hill, you do have to change down, but that's kind of standard for smaller engines. Curiously, even though it's no hot hatch, the LC isn't particularly fuel efficient. Sure, 6.9 litres per hundred isn't to be sniffed at. It's just not class leading anymore. Be a great car to do your driving test in because it is very easy to drive. The steering is nice and light, probably too light for some. Um, and the gears are very easy to use. A little bit fluffy, like you could put it in and it could be first, it could be third, it could be second, <laughs> but simple nonetheless. It also proved easy to live with on the pothole streets of Johannesburg. This thanks to the subframe mounted front suspension which isolates the cabin from road intrusions. Occupants can feel safe in the knowledge that the LC achieved a five-star Chinese end cap safety rating, the first Chinese designed and built vehicle to do so. Inside, the LC's camel-coloured upholstery also marks a welcome departure from the grey you'd expect in this class. Getting inside, the whole panda-panda theme continues inside the LC. Um, nice cream and black interior cloth that they've used. It's not too bad in terms of its quality. I mean, you're paying 90,000 rand, so you get what you pay for. They've got half moons here, which they say is reminiscent of the panda. Then on the top of the dash, they've used black, which they say is uh, to, to stop the glare. While on the bottom part, they've used a, a cream color um, to make it look more spacious. And it does look, look quite spacious inside, I have to say. The leg room is pretty good. And it's got a, a feeling of spaciousness around you, which is nice. Also, lots of places to put stuff. You've got nice little cubby holes and, um, you know, cup holders, the usual types of things, lots of cute little things to um, surprise you around the car. Also got aircon, this took some getting used to for me, the, um, the dials and the way they're laid out because they're kind of the wrong way around, so it might be something that you need to adjust to. You've got aircon, you've got uh, six airbags in the GT model that we're in, you've got an MP3 USB which um, uh, is also the GT model that we're in. So it's pretty well specced inside for the price and uh, it's, not, it's not a bad finish. I mean, if you're going to make it cheap, then at least make it look nice. The relatively long wheelbase and compact 35 litre fuel tank means there's plenty of room in the boot. Incidentally, the fuel tank is made from thick plastic, not steel, to prevent it from bursting in the event of a collision. Just one more example of the attention to detail that's gone into the LC's design. So like our Geely, this pen is also from China. Well, the Chinese market downtown, so much of a match is. And he's also not quite, not quite there, you know. One, one leg is longer than the other leg and his head's a little skew. He's just not quite there yet, but he's really cute, as is our LC. You don't buy Geely's for brand, you don't buy them for quality, you buy Chinese because they're cheaper. And for 90,000 Rand, you're getting a hell of a lot of car here. <music> 